Hey there, Nick Jatak is here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to use said to insert text before or after a line, which could be pretty useful from time to time. So let's just echo something now like hello world, and uh, we're gonna operate on this using said. So first example, you know, let's say that you wanna insert some text before a line of match. So what we could do here is maybe lines that start with hello. In this case, we only have one line, but maybe in your document, you have a whole bunch of different lines. You know, this is going to be the search term that you want to look for. And then we're going to add some text before this match here. So in that case, we're going to use slash I, which is going to be basically um, saying inserted. And then here we can put in whatever text that we want to insert before this match. So I'm just going to say inserted before, but of course, you know, this string here that we have could be whatever you want. But here we can see, there we go. We have our text inserted before that line, which is quite handy. And if you want to insert some text after the match, you can just change the slash I to be a slash A for appended here. And in this case, you know, using our little example sentence here, this would actually be inserted after because we are now inserting this after that text. But again, of course, you can replace this with whatever you want. Just make sure that you have a space here in between the, you know, the actual string and the operation that you want to do and the text that you want to set. Now, there is uh, one thing to go over here and that is related to adding extra line breaks. So if we go back to our previous example of this one here, you know, let's say that you wanted to add, I don't know, a couple of extra lines after the inserted before. So you end up with maybe some blank lines in between. Now, if you're using the GNU version of said, this will work. So I'm gonna add a couple of new lines, you know, just escaping two new line characters there. And we can see we, there's our extra lines. That's gonna be great. But if you're on macOS using OpenBSD, that is not going to work. But there is a solution that we can do to make this work with both versions of said there, whether you're using the GNU version or the OpenBSD version. Uh, we'll get that into a second here because it is a little bit more interesting if you want to do the after example. So let's go back to the after example, which would be this one, and we're going to go with um, A here. Now let's say that you actually want to insert this after, but really what you want to do is maybe add a line break or two before this inserted word here, right? So you have some extra lines there. So you might think like, well, okay, cool. Like I'll just do, you know, slash N here, slash N here, and then things are going to work but they're not going to work. It's gonna get a little bit funky here. Like literally the end character was inserted here. One of the new lines worked here, but yeah, that first one did not. So I found in practice that you need to double escape that one and then you get the intended result that you'd like. Um, what's interesting though, if you try to like single escape it, then you end up in the you know same scenario before. I did find out just through like experimentation and playing around, if you actually add a space there, then uh, things will work. And uh, yeah, you know, this starts to be treading in some like, I wonder what's really going on here. I don't know. But yeah, if I'm writing a script or something, I just tend to double escape it there and then you are good to go here. Uh, you don't need to do that when it's on at the end of the line here. You don't need to do it for this second one here. It just seems to be related to, you know, adding some type of character that you need to escape as like, you know, the first character that's happening here uh, with this said line. But, you know, going back to what I mentioned before, using backslash n here is just not going to work with the OpenBSD version of said. So how can you do that if you just want that to work or you want to do it in a cross OS compatible way to make sure it works on both operating systems, you know, for example, a Mac OS and then any distro of Linux running GNU version of, of said, assuming the person on Mac OS didn't install the GNU version of said already. All right, so what can you do? Well, what you can do is replace the backslash n with a literal new line character, and then things will work. So let's just go back to our other example before here, uh, the one where we have them inserted uh, before like this with a couple of line breaks. Let's see if we can reproduce this exact output in a way that will work with macOS. Uh, so in this case, first thing we need to do is we need to get rid of those backslash uh, ends there and also, you know, replace these outer quotes with single quotes. That's going to be very important. And then what we could do here is, you know, just end this line with a backslash and then hit enter. And uh, well, hold on, let, let me not get ahead of myself here. We don't wanna close that quote just yet. So let's hit enter now. And then we can say, okay, we actually want another new line character. Then we're gonna close our quote here and then things are going to work. So essentially what we're doing here, right? We're just adding um, an actual uh, new line character there. And to be able to insert an actual new line character, a couple of things need to happen, right? We need to tell the script that, hey, by the way, you know, there is going to be a line break here. So we have to add those backslashes where we want here. And then also we are using single quotes instead of double quotes, because if we try to do this with double quotes, then uh, we'll see what happens here. And by the way, before that, you can see too, I just hit the up arrow. You know, now you can start doing, you know, modifying this command however you see in a multi-line way, at least in my case here, I am using Z shell. I should mention here too, you know, if you do all the examples that we just did, put them in a bash script and run them, um, it will absolutely work there. Z shell is not doing anything uh, to make that work. Okay, cool. So, you know, let's just say though that you wanted to, you know, replace this with double quotes instead of single quotes. And we try to see what happens here. You know, we can see that, uh, yeah, those, <clears throat> those line breaks there, you just got stripped out. And, uh, you know, we can even, 
can go back to uh, running in this in bash here and maybe we can just copy paste that whole example here and try to do the same thing. And then yeah, the same thing is going to happen here. But if you do single quotes, then yeah, things are going to work nicely here. Let me just go and replace these just to demonstrate it does work. And then there we go. So this is not like Z show shell specific, but yeah, that's uh, one solution you can do here to get across OS compatible way to make this work. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. Uh, with that said, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.